Well, hello, folks. It's Steve again. My wife's not here with me today. I snuck off uh, to go check out the build to see what was going on with, uh, with the lockdown, see what kind of working crew I had show up today. So it's in the afternoon out here at uh, a little after 2. Um, it's a nice day out here in the Philippines. beautiful. And I wanted to check to see what uh, what type of what type of show up we had here when the lockdown went into place out here in the Philippines um, on Monday, which is uh, today. So let's just do a quick weather check first. I always like to do that. The sky is absolutely beautiful. Got a nice breeze. Like I said, it's a lovely day out here. But uh, some of the things that I have uh, concern-wise are the lockdown. So let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit, okay? Let's head on over and sit down and find a spot and we'll do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, FaceTime anyway. Well, folks, I had to find a place to sit down here and get comfortable. Some of the things that, uh, that are concerns for me, um, obviously you concern the build. So when you got uh, when you got materials and you got workers and you got uh, you got your factories and stuff that uh, that are in areas or your assembly places that that, that put your components of your house together um, are affected by the uh, the lockdown, then that becomes a concern for you as a uh, as a homeowner and also it's a concern if you if you're the builder as well. We have uh, part of our crew are are locked down in Cavite, one of the uh, the regions that are affected by the lockdown. You get toward uh, north of us in the central area of, uh, of uh, around Manila area, um, there's a lot of the places that uh, that are locked down and we're just getting the news is starting to come out today. We found out that we didn't have the guys that were that were finishing my roof. I shot some uh, video, not sure if that's going to be posted by the time this is out, but came in here on Sunday, um, that was yesterday, and uh, did some follow up on some video just to see where they're at uh, on the roof. I was hoping they would get that completed before uh, the actual lockdown went into place, but it uh, didn't happen. But those are the folks that, that are responsible for the roof. And, uh, and we're hoping it'll just be a week or two and then they'll be able to pick up where they left off at. And also the, uh, the guys that are doing part of the uh, internal roof structure that was just about finished. Um, they're in Kaviti, but we do have the tilers that are, that are starting on the, uh, the CRs right now. They've got the master started and I guess the second um, CR that we'll go take a look at, or at least I want to check it out as well, are here. And we got, uh, they're laying uh, concrete hollow block under the, uh, the roof structure on two spots on the build of my house that uh, we'll also check out too as well. So um, they're here working, but it's a small crew. And then on top of it, you've got uh, two days that, that are the holidays are coming up that uh, our HOA does not allow work to be uh, to happen during that time unless you get uh, permission from it. And our builder applied, but was uh, turned down. And it's understandable. You know, I get it too. If I lived here uh, and it was the holidays, I don't think I'd want to be listening to construction guys because we have that in, in where I live at in, in the subdivision that I'm at now. Um, it's constantly 24, it's not 24 hours a day, but uh, seven days a week you got construction guys there. They're building a house behind us and it, it gets, frankly, it gets old. It, you know, where you're trying to relax and just enjoy things and you got guys that, and the houses are very, very close uh, where I live at versus out here where you've got a little bit more room. There's, there's really nobody close to us except for the next hill over. Um, so really not bothering everybody, but but the rules do apply to one individual they do somebody else uh, as long as they're evenly enforced uh, i'm good with that you know may not may not you know may not want it but uh, i can understand it and i can get behind it so that that's not the issue the issue is when they're when they don't individually uh um, when they individually choose to to selectively enforce certain builds hey let me show you our garbage pickup real quick hang on Kind of love that technology in place, folks. But those are the guys that come out uh, a couple times a week out here in, in our subdivision and uh, pick up the trash. So it's uh, they got a tractor with a trailer. It gets the job done, and uh, that's how they get the trash picked up here at the uh, in our subdivision. 
like I said, it works. Uh, may not be the latest technology, but uh, gets the trash picked up and hauled away. So I'm good with that. I thought you guys would get a kick out of it as well. Anyway, getting back to the topic at hand, uh, delays on the build. So that's what's going on with them. Um, it just seems like it's one thing after another, but I don't know, I'm kind of relaxed now. After, after spending a little time out here, your mindset starts to change. Can't come out here, and I was wrong at first, like I told you before in some of my other videos, can't come out here with an American mindset and expect to change the Philippines. It just doesn't happen that way, unfortunately. So either go with the flow or you're gonna be an upset individual a lot, or you know, you're gonna be frustrated. So you can, you've got your choice, those three. So let's head on over and uh, let's see what we got going on. I can hear the concrete mixer in the background as it is. So we're gonna check that out. I'll see you over there. One of the things you got to be mindful of is, is usually the wife does all the uh, all the editing and uh, all that stuff. I usually just just point the camera out to what's going on. But uh, I've been doing some of my editing in the last couple of videos, and I've, I don't I didn't like what I'm seeing as far as uh, the movement of the camera. Kind of gets to will make you a little dizzy. So I'm trying to keep it to kind of change the way I shoot a little bit, get a little more professional. Not that there were, we're anytime soon going to be a big channel. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But you can see right here. They're still mixing up the, the concrete, the, doing work on uh, his backside of, uh, of my neighbor's house. Uh, my neighbor's actually actually got uh, got his internet hooked up. And uh, man, what a difference when you're in there and you got the fans going. Um, and uh, you got internet connectivity and uh, he's got his ACs now they're working but he doesn't have them on uh, as long as you get out of the shade and, uh, and then get some air flowing huge difference um, kind of decided to go native uh, let me show you guys a little uh, something that I got tired of dealing with uh, and complaining about all the traffic so I picked up a little scooter and uh, man, what a difference it makes so I'm going native here. Makes life so much easier. My other neighbor had one and I've been riding since I was a kid. Uh, just had to get certified, had to go down to Batangas and take their uh, their road bike course, which is uh, a pretty simple process. It's a matter of filling out a form and, and going on there and then uh, just taking a, a lap around the uh, actual course itself. Not a big deal. But man, it makes getting around town. I had to pick up some some parts for around the house, a water faucet, some other things, and a gas hose that was leaking. And doing that, uh, man, it made such a such a huge difference. Man, the speed is unbelievable. You don't have to worry. It cuts my time and virtually eliminates three quarters of the time you spend in traffic. Uh, nothing uh, since last video that's that's new in here. We're still cutting rebar for uh, for some of the structures outside. And let me go back out again. I apologize, but I'll show you what they're doing. They are forming. And our builder has put put these nice features on the front, right above where that ugly ugly ass cardboard is. That feature up there with those uh, the busted up concrete hollow blocks, that's all going to be, that's all going to look similar to, let me pan over to my neighbors to get you an idea. All of his outside lights are on, I don't know why, but that area through there above, uh, where you can see above the windows, that's what that is going to look like as well. And let me show you a section you have to get over here to see it. See that new trick guard shack that they put in down there. And you can see the uh, see the section right, excuse my big finger, right there. That area that they've uh, they just finished putting that up. You can see the concrete's still wet on it, but that's also gonna be uh, that's how they fill that in, and he's gonna put some type of a structure it's not going to be exactly like my neighbors but it's going to have some kind of contrast to it and, and i do like the open rafters so i hope he does something like that and if you look to the far right you can see the archways 
on that back one eye and I really love the way those archways look it really makes the house look nice and here's the uh, here's some of that concrete hollow block you can see how how the uh, it's still wet because you had a, had a shortage of it so this stuff is fresh and uh, yeah you gotta let it set for at least a minimum of two weeks before you can use it um, but the good thing about the concrete hollow block it's not a load bearing block it's uh, mostly just a filler block your your columns uh, are going to column beams give you the support on the house so it's nothing to be concerned about but that was one of the deliveries that we were we were worried about before but like I said I have a big project going on here they're expanding the, uh, the expressways and I think they're sucking up all the material from the local builders which is which is a good thing for the economy here so uh, especially with the with the uh, COVID all that lockdown and, the, and then and what they've lost so I'm super super happy about uh, them being able to do that let's head upstairs I want to see the second CR see if I'm gonna like that as well here's the the master CR this is uh if you guys don't like the coloring on it send my wife the the nasty comments on it because she's the one let's pick the color out and you can tell that they're also going to do measuring up for the concrete hollow block there and you can see my insulation on the roofs but uh, let me see those archways I want to check those out nice nice archways they really give a, a house a really classy look cool yeah nice job thank you let's go check out the uh, the other bathroom sorry par squeeze by here they're doing a little clean up here in the house so we'll sneak in the back way over here right here here's the color hey cool yeah how you doing this is the guy that's laying the tile it's nice it's beautiful I actually like this color better than the master bedroom one so this is the color that they're gonna choose for the bathroom upstairs and the bathroom downstairs or CR as they refer to them here in the Philippines thank you Kuya. Salamat. so that's what's going on here at the house so I hope I'm going to keep being able to produce something for you guys, check on progress. So, but uh, I think we're going to have, with the holidays coming up, with the holidays coming up, I think it's going to be a little slow for right uh, on videos. One thing you learn about these uh, quickly is these uh, directional mics, um, that if you do not, <laughs> if you're not talking directly in the mic, you, you lose a lot of uh, audio feed. So it's one thing you kind of learn after you, after enough, after you make enough mistakes on it. So you'll see me editing that out, flipping that camera around. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll let you. Go. We'll keep you updated on what's going on. But I just wanted to give you uh, the latest information on what we had on those lockdowns, and uh, I hope you guys are staying super safe. I'm glad to see that uh, vaccination is rolling out uh, in the states. I might have to fly back to the states and get uh, myself and the family vaccinated because out here I found out that if you're a U.S. citizen, they don't. Uh, and you know, I, I get it. They're not out here to take care of all of us, but they don't supply vaccines to, at the embassy for the U.S. citizens uh, that live out in foreign countries. So I think I might have to fly back to the states, either California or Arizona, and get vaccinated once. Uh, once everybody's uh, had their go around there, so I'll probably uh, see if I can slide the family in. I qualify for my age um, to get it now in Arizona, but uh, I don't think the rest of my family does. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, God bless, and uh, you guys take care, and stay safe again. Take care. Bye-bye.